going on guys? General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. Today we're going to have some fun guys as we are about to attempt a six star clan war live right now here in this episode guys. So I'm on my General Tony account, my channel 12, very close to max out guys, and we're going to be taking on number one. And number two on the enemy team right now, live, here in this episode. However, we're going to set ourselves an impossible challenge, guys. We're going to try something very, very hard, guys. We're about to attack both these bases live, except there is one rule that we have to follow. Half the army we use has to be golems. So either ice golems or golems, they have to fill up at least half the training troop spaces, guys. So we got four golems and four ice golems for the first attack. We are going to be taking on number one. Now, the reason why we've set this challenge, guys, is because these bases don't look too hard. They don't look easy, but they don't look too hard, guys. So this is number one, and this is number two. You can see they still look pretty damn strong, guys, but I got a good feeling if we use the right strategy with these golems, we could get ourselves a six-star clan war. So this is where it's going to get interesting, my friends. It is now you, my subscribers, time to decide how many stars will we get by the end of the episode, guys. So there is a total of six stars, of course. Three for number one, three for number two. How many are we going to get? Take your guesses down below in that comment section. I'm back in myself, guys. I'm going for the full six pack. Take your guesses. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, and join the family. Let's do this. Okay, so... We're going to start by taking on number one, guys. Now, instantly looking in this base, you can see two single target Inferno Towers. No Eagle Artillery, guys. And lower level heroes. So, to be honest, base number two actually looks harder than base number one. So, we're going to start with number one. And we're going to see what happens. If I click the attack button, this is the full strategy we are using, guys. Siege Machine, by the way, of a wall wrecker. Three heroes, of course. We've got three rage, one jump, two freeze, and a poison. Four ice golems, four golems, eight witches, two wall breakers, balloons, a pekka, and a rage spell inside of the CC. I am just going to make sure my Grand Warden is set to ground. Yes, he is. Let's do this, guys. Leave a like on the video to wish me good luck. Let's go for the scout. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we've only got two wall breakers because we couldn't bring more. Otherwise, I would have had to lose a witch. And I didn't really want to do that, guys. What we are going to do, I am going to try and come in from a symmetrical point of the base so I can basically drop all my troops in here, plow through the two layers of walls, guys. We've only got a single jump. I plan to drop that right there into the center. There are 35 troops inside of that clan castle, so we need to make sure that the witch and the queen goes into the core with the golems and the ice golems, guys. It's going to be very, very difficult, but I'm going to give it my best shot. We do, of course, have a wall wrecker as well, so um, I don't know if there's any point bringing these, uh, the, these wall breakers, but uh, I think for now, we are actually going to remove them. Hold on a second, guys. I just remembered. No, let's keep them. Let's keep them. Let's make the challenge even harder. Okay, so we're going to hit this attack button. Let's do this. Here we go, I'm actually really nervous guys, but the attack is now going to get underway and I've actually just changed the strategy ever so slightly. I'm going to use the wall wrecker here and I'm going to use the wall breakers over there. I'm hoping this is going to work. Let's just see what happens guys. So the four golems are down, four ice golems are going to follow in as well. We're going to go with the two wall breakers, drop in those heroes and the witches are going to follow in just behind guys. So pretty much every troop is now down on the battlefield. We kind of need the majority of them to go into the core, guys. Let's just see what is going to happen. Okay, so we got our free spell. We're going to drop it nice and early, try and save the wall wrecker. I am going to use a rage spell, guys. Unfortunately, none of the heroes have gone into the base, but it's okay. We've got a jump spell over on the left-hand side to hopefully pull some of them back into the center, guys. So we've got the rage spell in the core. I'm going to use that free spell. Let's just wait and see what is going on in the center of this base. We got the Grand Warden and some of these other troops coming into the center now, guys. Still got the Grand Warden's ability to use. Single target Inferno Towers causing a little bit of an issue. So I am going to put that Grand Warden's ability, guys. We still haven't managed to take out that single target Inferno Tower. Finally, it's down. And we're now jumping into another section of the base. So let's use another Rage Spell, guys. 
Get this queen moving. What have we got left? Still got the queen's ability, but we haven't collected that second star. There goes the archer queen's ability, guys. Level 48 queen defending. And we are going to just... Oh, sorry, level 28 queen. Just about manage to take her down, guys. Now, the battle isn't over just yet. We got golems left alive. Still plenty of time on the clock, guys. So I reckon we can pull off this triple star. It just depends if we can take out these structures on the outside of the base in time. So, Queen is going to pull into the center. We need these witches and, of course, the Grand Warden to stay alive, guys, in order to take out these Tesla Towers. There goes Tesla Tower number one. Bomb Tower is also down. Here we go. Grand Warden is locked onto the Tesla. It's gone down. What have we got left, guys? Oh, my. We, we've just got... I think it's just going to be the Town Hall, maybe. We're up to 98%. This is brutal. Skeletons against skeletons, guys. They're going to try and kill my poor witch. Witch just about survived there. Bomb Tower, the final defense left in the base. That is brutal. A 98% two-star, guys. That is actually pretty damn funny. I'm not going to lie, but... um. We're not going to manage to take out the bomb tower. Are we going to do it? Yo, check it out. The skeleton almost had the bomb tower, but it just didn't quite go through, guys. And we kind of messed that one up. 98% one star. That is, that's heartbreaking. So a quick hi to YouTube from all of the people inside of the clan, guys. We've got, uh, we got five people online right now. By the way, if you are actually trying to join inside of this clan, guys, I'm going to show you. The, uh, the clan bookmark in a couple of seconds time. Just before we do, let me just request another CC, guys. So, uh, shout out to every person in here. Let me just show you the clan bookmark, guys. There it is. Anyone is welcome. So, feel free to come and join. So, thank you so much for the troops, Alexander. We got ourselves some Valkyries, guys. And we got a free spell. And we got a poison spell. Awesome. So, this time, we've changed the strategy. This is going to be a harder base. But I've completely removed golems, guys. We maxed out the ice golems last week. We got six witches, 12 bowlers, eight golems, and a whole host of different spells. We are going to be gemming up the heroes, guys. So let's just quickly jump over to them. 22 for the Grand Warden. 22 for the Queen. Check this out, guys. I did. I did see his note, guys. Hold on a second. Let me just drop a love heart in there. And we are going to gem up the king as well. So I'm kind of hoping for a better uh, better attack this time, guys. Number two, is it going to be another one star? I honestly don't know. All I do know is this base looks harder than the previous one. And I am kind of scared. I don't know why this one was ranked higher, guys. But um, could have just been like the Inferno levels. The good thing is, neither base has a Giga Tesla. So... Could be, you know, could be a good chance to take it down. I'm not too sure. Now, this time we have got a baby dragon, which I will be using probably in this region to create a funnel for those buildings, guys. And I am probably going to use a single bowler, possibly, to take out these two collectors here, guys. It looks like we're just about going to be able to grab one or two of them. At least grab the gold collector. Then we can drop everything else into the center. Three wall breakers. We're probably going to drop a couple of them in maybe here with a nice golem or two guys to try and funnel that side of the base as well. So, let's do this. Live attack number two. We got Valkyries inside of the wall wrecker this time. Should be helpful, guys. I'm even more scared than ever before, but we're going to give it our best shot. That's all we can do. Okay, so we are going to... I'm going to drop this baby dragon in again, guys. Level 5 baby dragon. I know it's under heavy fire, but if we can grab both collectors, that's all we're looking for, guys. The second collector is down. Okay. Bowler's going to go in. He's going to get some splash damage onto that army camp, which is totally amazing, guys. And I'm going to change my plan. I'm going to drop all the ice golems, or the majority, in the left-hand side and not that side over there, guys. In fact, that, that bowler's going to get all those buildings. That is amazing. Okay. I don't want to run out of time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. War Wrecker's going to go down. Heroes in behind. All the witches this time in a nice little gap into the middle. And the majority of the bowlers are going to come in just behind, guys. Poison spell down nice and early. There goes the Rage Spell. Let's see if we can do some more damage this time. Jump Spell in nice and early as well. 
just ahead of the army. Another rage is going to go down. Free spell onto the Inferno Tower. And we are going to be popping that Grand Warden's ability shortly. Not just yet. Hold it. Hold it. There it goes. King's ability is being used. Free spell onto the Inferno Tower. It did target my king, guys. And we're already up to that first star. Here goes the Inferno Tower. The multi-target has been taken down. This looks a lot better. But can we grab ourselves a triple star, guys? We're past the halfway point. That is a great start. Let's see how high we can go. There are a lot of point defenses over this side of the base for the Queen to take on. Is it going to be too much? I'm not too sure, guys. We've got Ice Golems in the center. Bowlers and Witches around the edges. This is actually looking promising. It is looking promising. Still got that Ice Golem. Still got the King. He has been an absolute beast. Rampage. All those buildings, guys. But now it's going to come down to an Archer Queen, Grand Warden, and a couple of buildings, guys. But I do have a free spell, and I've got another poison. We're not going to bother using the poison. I'm going to drop that freeze on those three defenses, guys. Trying to keep my troops up and alive. Okay, so this is where it's going to get interesting. We're up to 82%. We've grabbed ourselves a second star, guys. As long as the witch or something can kind of guard my queen, then we could be looking at a potential triple, guys. We're up to 86%. We need to clean these buildings. Let's just drop in the poison spell in case any air larries or uh, ground larries come up. I am going to use the queen's ability in a few seconds, guys. There it goes. Oh, damn. We're stuck on a lava wall. We're through. Can we take out these buildings, guys? This is going to be so close. I don't even know if we're going to be able to do it. It looks like the Queen is going to be going down. Check out the Grand Warden. And there it ends. 94% two-star. Pretty damn brutal attacks, guys. I gave it my best shot. We did use some type of troll strategy. But um, if you guessed three out of six stars, then you, my friend, got the right answer. This is all for fun, by the way, guys. We're not trying to, you know, prove how good we are or anything like that. We're just having fun inside of this clan. But uh, we gave it our best shot. A one star and a two star. If you guessed three stars, you, my friend, are a genius. And I'm going to pin your comment. So leave a like if you made it all the way to the end. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next one.